lot of people find annoying about WordPress blogs are the fact that people can make spammy comments on the blog. Uh, they can put a comment with a link to another website and they think that that's going to get them good search engine rankings. And in fact, there are even some software programs available which will go into WordPress and place comments in blogs. And one way that you can prevent that happening to your blog is by moderating the comments that are made on your site. And that also helps you weed out anything that might be defamatory or that's going to cause you problems down the road. Now to set up your WordPress blog so that you can moderate the comments is actually quite simple and I'm going to show you how to do it in this video. The first thing to do is to log in as the administrator and come to the dashboard and then what you want to do is to scroll down to where it says settings and then click here on discussion. Opens up this window here and you want to make a few changes to the default setting. Um, where it says other comment settings you want to make sure that this box here is checked uh, comment author must fill out name and email you also want to check this one here users must be registered and logged in to comment because this will stop a lot of the uh, spam comments that you get you also want to set it up here so that you get an email so it says email me whenever and you want to make sure that both of these are checked anyone posts a comment and a comment is held for moderation and also here before a comment appears make sure that this box here is checked an administrator must always approve the comment. You can also, a bit further down here, um, hold a comment in, in the queue if it contains one or more links. And also, you can also put some information in here to automatically put things into the moderation queue. For example, an IP address or an email address of known spammers. Uh, if you're going to have every comment uh, be held for moderation then filling out that one isn't strictly necessary. Likewise you want to have a comment blacklist and you can include things that are popular with spammers so for example you could put in things like Viagra or watches and, and so on. And once you've made your selection come down to the bottom here and click on save changes and there you go the settings are now saved. Okay what I'm going to do now is just show you this in action. I'm going to pause the video and sign out, and log in as another user and post a comment and then you'll see how it all works. So I'm just going to pause the video for a few moments. Okay we're here in my Gmail inbox and I've done a few things during the break. I've logged in first of all as an existing user called Jane and I've made a comment and Jane has already made a comment which has been approved and the way that I've got that set up now her comments will automatically be approved on my WordPress blog. But I've also had a new user sign up and he has made a comment. Let me just click on this one here so you can see what it looks like and you can see here we have what the comment looks like in the email that gets sent to me you can see we've got who he is and we've got his gmail address and we've got his comment now if I just close that and we come here to my WordPress dashboard you can see we've got the two comments in here in the recent comments column it's showing one comment here that needs moderation. So what I can do if I come over here to the one from Fred who's the comment that needs to be moderated I can either approve it or I can reply or I can flag it as spam or I can just simply put it into the trash. Now it's a fairly innocuous comment so I'm gonna go ahead and click on approve and there we go Fred's comment is approved. Now let's say Jane's comment had 
been automatically approved because I'd already approved uh, one of her comments already but then when I come to the dashboard I decide that I don't really like what she's saying here I can simply click here to unapprove it and then that will be taken out and put into the pending file and you can see up here it's now saying that there's one comment pending and it's also showing that there's one comment needing moderation here in this panel and if I decide that I really don't want it I can just simply click here on trash and you notice it says comment by Jane has been moved to the trash and then if I actually go to the blog page itself we can see here we now have one comment that's been approved I click on that and there we are here's the comment from Fred so there you go that's how you can moderate comments that are made on your site we're going up 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 and up 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 we're going